And I was like, wait a second, we need to get out of here. I just don't think I cared that much. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my vlog channel. Hello, how are you guys? Happy Saturday. So I just got back from a full week of traveling. I was in Alabama, then I was in Denver shooting a short film, and so I was gone for a good bit. And today it is Saturday, June 1st. Oh my gosh, where does the time go? Seriously. So um, you're probably like, why are you all dressed up, Janine? But I am going to speak at the HER conference today. And I'm on a panel, so I'm really excited. So I'm kind of, my room is super messy. Please don't mind that. But I'm wearing this today. So I'm kind of wearing more of like a businessy kind of look. And I love this. So this jacket, I think, is Aritzia, brand new Melville. Um, I think this is from Madewell. These are Nordstrom Rack, but these are Joe's jeans, and then these are Tom's. So that's my outfit of today. These earrings are Vici. I'll see you guys there, and I'm just gonna vlog the experience because it's my first time there too, so it should be fun. Okay. Hello everybody, I'm here at the Her Conference. I just finished my panel, I didn't vlog when I got here, but I had some awesome people come support me. Hi ladies! Shelby took a bunch of footage for me, which I really appreciate, so I'll insert that now. It's from her camera, so the footage is way better than this camera. I'll insert that now of the panel. Yeah, for me, like I said, I've been on YouTube for 10 years, so when it really did start taking off, I mean, it was like, boom, like all these followers started coming, and like overnight, in a month, I was gaining like 500,000, 800,000, I was like, what is happening? But the more I started doing it, um, you know, it is really hard to kind of like stay relevant within this space, so it did slow down a little bit, but I'm honestly like okay with that, because I don't think that right now, like I really care to grow that much. My thing is like, I would rather, people know me and they know who I am and me know who they are versus just getting as many followers as possible and no one actually knows who I am. So it definitely is gradual right now. It is still growing, but it's a lot slower than it used to be for sure. That channel like has the most loyal people ever. And I think the more that I'm sharing about my struggles and who I am and what I'm going through and things I'm learning, like the, the closer I get to my followers. And so I really think that like, just the more you're honest and authentic, the more people are just gonna gravitate towards you. So I think that's really what's been really a game changer for me. I saw A, how much joy it brought me, how fun it was. I mean, it literally just lit up my eyes and I just could not wait to get the next video up, to see the comments, like that's when I knew, I was like, this is what I wanna do. And then seeing the feedback from people, how people would message me, you have changed my life. And it's not even like me, like it's God who works through me, but just seeing the impact that I could make through this small little whatever thing that I'm doing, like I just was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Hello, so I'm back home. I just got back from the HER conference and I, let me raise my chair. Here we go, hello. So I got this nifty shirt at the event and I got to add this like patch on there. And then this is the back. I think the tag is still on there too somewhere. I don't know, but this is the brand XOXO. Anyway, so I am back home now and I've been gone, like I said, for a week. So I, oh gosh, I got a package from Vici. I love Vici's clothing. So I'm just gonna do a quick little unboxing of what I got. Oh, cute. Okay, so I got a tank. It looks a little bit big as well with a cute tie. And then, but the good thing is there's adjustable straps. All right, so uh, please don't mind my messy room. Today's responsibilities are to clean that up. But since I'm trying on my Vici stuff, I wanted to go ahead and just show you what I got. Um, so this is actually the shirt on me now, which I think is super cute. I like how it has this right here so you don't see your, you know, your bra or whatever underneath. I like this tie. And also whenever you use my code, I think it's Janine20, you guys can get 20% off whenever you shop. But cute little lace detail. There's that. 
Does look a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but um, we'll try that on and see. Okay, so here's the next shirt. Like I said, this does look a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I don't really know how you would style this unless you kind of like tucked it in or something. But regardless, I just don't think this is really fully what I was expecting, so I might exchange this, but it's kind of nice because you get free returns, and when you exchange it, they just like reapply your credit back to your gift card or wherever you purchased it, so I might exchange this for something else. Do you ever like keep re-entering your password wrong for some weird reason? Okay, then I got this jumpsuit. Like, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the next one. I think this is absolutely adorable, um, as long as this stays covered right there. But otherwise, I think this is so cute, and I really like this little pattern, and I like how there's not too much skin popping out, but I just think this is so cute. It's a little navy dress with a tie, and then pockets. The pockets are what sold me. Okay, and this is super cute because it has pockets it has a cute little tie it has a clasp right here so if you do want it to be more open you can but I'm going to leave mine shut and then yeah this is what the back looks like but I just like the material it's super super comfy and I really really like this as well so cute like buying staple like basics you can get those at like Target but this is great for like cute little like event clothing and like date nights or whatever so look how cute that is oh my gosh oh my goodness you guys this is probably my favorite thing I got I think this is so cute I like how again it's not too revealing and it just complements my body and I don't know I just think this is so cute it's probably my favorite thing I got I love it and then the last thing that I got are just some mm, high-waisted black jeans because the ones that I had were super faded and not really what I was wanting and these had rips in the knees so I thought I would give these a go. These are the black jeans I got. I'm so happy I got these because these fit me incredibly and I love how the rips aren't like too crazy and they're a little bit frayed at the bottom but skinny enough to where you can roll them and everything so definitely like the best pair of black jeans I think I've ever found. So I'm so happy I ordered these. Actually, one more thing. I did get this choker from their website as well, and I just think it is adorable. So that's another thing that I got. So that's everything from Vici. I'm gonna get some business done because I have not been working this past week, so I have a lot to get done. So I will be sitting here getting my stuff done for the next couple hours. Oh, and I just wanted to say, I had so much fun at the Her Conference. I really um, appreciate getting to speak to some of you guys and just speaking to you guys on the panels and whatever. And hopefully you guys had some things you could take away from it. Um, it was a blast and I really enjoyed it. All right, guys. So I'm heading off to go hang out with Shelby and Haley. And I'm just waiting for my lift to get here. So I'm just chilling. But I've been getting a lot of work done. So I've been really proud of myself. Here's what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing um, the same makeup from this morning. I'm wearing this shirt that I got that I showed you guys. My leather jacket from Blank NYC. My new jeans from Vici. And then my cheetah shoes, which are from Dolce Vita. So this is the look today. And we're just gonna go get some dinner and I think go to a karaoke place because we both, we all love karaoke. So we're gonna go do that. All right, you guys, I'm here with Haley and Shelby. Yeah. We all didn't have plans tonight, so we're like, let's do something. So we came to Bodega Wine Bar. And this is what we're eating. It looks incredible. Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we almost just went to West Hollywood totally by accident. We were sitting in the lift about to go to do karaoke. And I got in the car and I looked at the thing and I said, Shelby, wait, where are we going? She's like, oh, we're gonna go to karaoke. And I said, why is it gonna take 24 minutes? I was like, karaoke is like a five to eight minute drive. And I looked and it said, drop off for Caroline. Well, I'm glad you saw that though, because otherwise we would have We would have just gone to Hollywood. And I was like, wait a second, we need to get out of here. And then the Uber driver got really mad at us. Oh, he asked. So I shut the door and the, um, the seatbelt was in it. You know, that just happens. It's not really like totally my fault. Yeah. Oops. And he was like, as I went and shut it again, he was like, listen next time. I was like, okay, <laughs> I think that's your car right there, Shelby, right? Be who is the license. Lesson learned to always check Shelby your Uber before you get in, verbally. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh, that must be it right there, Shelby, right? Good morning, guys. I didn't close up the vlog last night because we went to a um, karaoke spot. And it ended up being horrible. Like we just sat there, and I, I like had my name written down to go sing karaoke, and then 
it never got called and I was sitting there for an hour falling asleep so I was like you know what I'm not doing this anymore so we bounce but today's a new day it is Sunday I'm going to be going to church tonight so I'm just using today to clean up all this in my life um, and just really get some things in order get some editing done business things done and so that's what today is going to be and yeah so that'll be fun hello everybody I just got back from a run and it feels really really good outside but yeah I was just cooped up inside editing all day and I was like I need to go outside so I just went for a little run and a walk and I just walked to Ulta to pick up something and I have a friend coming over for dinner we're gonna cook together and then go to church and yeah, today's been really productive though. I'm really proud of myself because I've been getting a lot of work done. So yeah, the one thing I did not do was clean up this room. But yeah, here's today's workout outfit. This is all Fabletics, of course. And then I'm wearing my Asics running shoes. But these pockets are dope because I didn't want to carry anything on me. So I just stuck my like cards and phone in there. And then my little Apple Watch. And then this Fabletics jacket. But yeah, look at the back of this bra. So, so cute. And this is what I got from Ulta when I went. I love having like little small things when I travel. Whenever like I get out of the shower, I just apply that in my hair. So this is what I got from Ulta. Hey guys. Um, so sorry, I'm just starting this vlog off here. I'm actually about to go to bed, but I was editing this vlog you're watching before bed. Just chilling here right now in my room. Um, I had a super busy day of filming and work and everything. Um, but I posted this photo today. So I posted this photo today and in the caption I said, um, why do you follow me and what do you want to see more of? And I'm just scrolling through the comments of you guys, of your all of y'all's response. And if you don't follow my Instagram, it's Janina Mapola. Um, and so many of you guys are just so uplifting and I am also curious why people do follow me and like obviously I'll 100% admit yeah like I've totally been slacking and haven't been putting my best foot forward for a very long time and it's just because like first off I'm in a really iffy spot right now just career wise and I just feel like there's more that God wants me to do than just this and um, I'm happy with where I'm at but I also want more. And I just I'm really just trying to figure out what is my calling and what is my purpose and what is where does God want me? And so I think that's kind of where I've been struggling a little bit um, But regardless, I'm scrolling through y'all's comments and I just want to read out like a couple of them because You guys just like first off. I'm so thankful like if I don't say this enough I'm so sorry, but like from the bottom of my heart. I I'm so thankful for you guys like you guys are like family to me and like I have thousands of best friends hundreds of best friends on the internet and like please know that you know I do try to read everything you guys send me like but when you people do DM me I always try to respond and help and everything but I, I just like you guys are like my sisters which is really it's just awesome but one girl said to me a few years ago when you were in a, when you were a junior in college um, I was still in high school and your content was so authentic and it was obvious you weren't doing YouTube for money But because you enjoyed it. I'm now a junior in college and I followed your channel for years and as a young Christian woman It has been so encouraging to see someone with a large platform share the good news and the truth of the gospel and Christ's love Regardless of how an audience might react that to me spoke a lot on your character and your love for walking on his path and following what scripture asks of us that just like that like that makes me so emotional because like that has been my whole goal of this platform and I've said this before I think the reason why I just don't grow as much is because I've never really wanted just to do what was trendy and popular at the time like I never just stuck to what was the trend because I just don't think I cared that much and yeah that may not make some people happy because they want to see those certain videos but like I don't want to do it just because I want to do it like I want to do it because I'm enjoying it and I feel like that's what I want to do and yeah there are videos that are trendy that are fun that I do like to do but at the end of the day like my goal is just to help people that's my goal and so just scrolling through these comments I just want to say thank you so much like I, I think it is obvious that my goal is coming across and yeah there's more that you guys want to see and I do want to give that to you guys but I am struggling right now and I feel like I just need help I need and I know I keep saying that but I'm just been struggling to find that help that's committed and has my best foot forward and someone that you know is trustworthy out in LA I mean it's difficult out here for sure um, but 
I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I'm sorry this was all over, all over the place. But again, like a lot of the comments on here were you guys saying you just love my vlogs. And that means so much to me because honestly, like if I could be a daily vlogger, I would. And vlogs are my most favorite thing to make. And I'm just really, really thankful for that. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I, God bless you guys. I'm about to edit and read my B play and go to sleepy and then start a new day tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm gonna be vlogging as well. It should be fun and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out Girl Scout, bye guys. <laughs>